Mar, I'm Lacey Bender. And I'm Adam Cabrera. Welcome to today's show. We'd like to welcome a new audience in room D4, Mr. Rosenberg's class. Thank you for finally watching. Hey Adam, what are you doing February 2nd? Nothing that I know of. Why? Want to go to dancing with the faculty with me? It's February 2nd, 7 p.m., $5 in the auditorium. Sure, but who's dancing? Let's take it over to Kate, Katie and Kate to tell us a little bit more. I'm Kate and Kate, and I'm dancing with Ms. Derps on February 2nd at Dancing with the Faculty. You guys may not know who he is, but he is a real teacher, I promise. We've been practicing since November, and we are the competition. Miss B, you're going down. Hello, fellow dancers. This is Mrs. Bispols. I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of our group's dance moves. So, see you Thursday, February 2nd, 7 o'clock. Take care. Hey, LCMR. Thursday, February 2nd, 2012. The return of Mr. Douglas and the man band, former Dance with the Faculty Champions. Be there. Good luck to everyone who is involved. What time does the man go to the dentist? Lacey, no, stop. 30, get it? <laughs> oh, Lace, save jokes for John's joke box. <laughs> Hello, LCMR, and a good morning to you. I'm John McDowell, and welcome to John's Joke Box. And just for you, today's joke is about the rote as submitted by Mr. Gardella. Thank you, Mr. Gardella. <clears throat> a guy is taking a road test when he comes to a red light and drives right through it. The examiner says, what are you doing? He says, my brother does it all the time. He comes to another red light and drives right through it. The examiner says, what are you doing? He says, my brother does it all the time. Then he comes to a green light and stops. The examiner says, what are you doing now? He says, my brother might be coming. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Gardella, for the road test joke. <clears throat> if you have a joke that you like to hear on our show, simply write it with your name and class, and if it's funny, then we'll put on our show. Back to you, Lacey. That was so much better than my joke. Good job, John. Uh, that awkward <laughs> moment when we're wearing the same sweatshirt? Yeah, about that. At least they're wrestling. Yeah, I hear they're doing really well this season. We're 9 and 6 so far. Yeah, let's show the rest of LCMR a sneak peek of the wrestling season so far. I'm Lacey Bender, and I'm here with Captain of the Wrestling Team, Cora Damiana. Hi, Corey. Hello. How do you keep yourself in shape for wrestling? Well, Coach puts us through a lot of running, a lot of uh, conditioning circuits with a lot of drilling involved with all the wrestling in the room. And um, it's just a lot, a lot of intense uh, running and a lot of intense drilling all through the season that we deal with. Do you think wrestling could help benefit a person? Uh, I feel so. It just teaches us about life teaches us about uh, what's out there and how tough life really is because the sport is a very tough, a very tough sport and it's going to help us in the long run. And what are your aspirations and goals for the team and yourself? Just do the, be the best leader I can be, be the best uh, wrestler I can be, and help the team out whenever it's necessary, whether it's being a leader or uh, coming through for the team for a win. Do you believe that you're following in your brother's footsteps with your 100 wins? Um, 
I could say that I, I would like to reach my brother's record. I would like to possibly break it, but it's big shoes to fill. And um, he's a, he was very good at wrestling, and I'm going to have to be even better than he was. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. As a captain, what goals and aspirations do you have for yourself and the team? For the team, I hope we could make it to the uh, team playoffs. What sorts of physical aspects do you need to become a part of the wrestling team? You need definitely strength. You need uh, good stamina. Good luck and half point at the Morristown Duels. Speaking of good luck, do you think I'll be lucky enough to find a valentine this year? Only if you get her chocolates and flowers. Where can I get all this? Here, this piece will show you. shouldn't have spent all this money on me. Nah, I didn't spend that much. Go, go. I'm definitely going there to get flowers. Yeah, it's a great way to get good gifts and save a little bit of money. Sure. Well, that's all the time we have for you today, LCMR. I'm Lacey Bender. And I'm Adam Cabrera. Have, have a great, great day, Laura Kate May! May.